I was recently looking at Shaper Warlord amulets for my strength stacking occultist, and the ones that I wanted were just way out of my price range. And to craft one myself would require Awakener's Orbing, two of the influence modifiers together, hoping that I had an open suffix to then recombinate on essence tier strength. And that was just a lot of uncertainty, and that was also just out of my budget. But using a slightly different strategy, I was able to create this item. And the crafting process was pretty straightforward. I just used uh, easy to access crafting materials such as alterations and essences and recombinating astrolabe amulets. Now obviously this item isn't quite as good as the double influenced versions, mainly because you're losing out on that implicit, but as you'll see soon here how easy it is to make, this could be a great option for you. The astrolabe amulet is a base type that quite honestly I didn't even know existed until recently. Uh, and if we take a look at its implicits, it tells us that it has one of each uh, influence type and that its implicits can't be modified. So what does this mean? Well, all of those uh, crazy influence mods that you want on your amulet are all just part of this item's mod pool. So if we start recombinating these, we can make some pretty insane items and we can completely skip the whole Awakener's Orbs process. So let's hop over to Craft of Exile and I'll show you how I made my amulet and how you might be able to make yours too. So over here on Craft of Exile, I've gone ahead and selected the Astrolabe amulet and the three suffixes that I want on my item. Now the easiest way, um, in my opinion, to recombinate items together is to pick either a set of suffixes or prefixes, um, but you can choose a combination of those if you'd like and follow a similar process. So now that we've selected the mods that we want, let's talk item level real quick. Um, we know that uh, recombinators don't really care about item level when moving around essence modifiers, um, so the minimum item level that we need to roll all of our mods is item level 75. So I'm going to try and use items that have uh, between 75 and 80 for the best chance of success. So the overall strategy we're going to use is to build uh, sub-items that have some of the modifiers that we want, and then we're going to start combining them together to eventually create one item that has all three. Uh, so the first item we're going to try and combine is one that has um, both of our influence modifiers, and the second one is going to have our essence tier strength, and then one of the other two. Then when we combine those together, the odds of hitting all three are pretty good. So let's get started making our first item. Uh, this is an item that has um, both of our influence modifiers, and we're gonna do this by combining two items that each have only one. Um, so now that we have our base type, uh, we're gonna just start alt spamming until we hit one of our uh, modifiers, um, and then you're gonna get to a point that looks like this, and at this point, we're gonna regal, uh, and if we get unlucky and hit a suffix, um, we might have to null because we wanna um, just keep our desired mod, uh, and if you get unlucky, you just have to restart, and in this case, um, I got to keep it. Uh, so we're, then we're gonna do this process again uh, for the other influence modifier. So in my case, I'm gonna try and roll um, one that has increased strength as well. So now I've made my item that also has increased strength and we're ready to combine it with our first item that had increased attributes. Um, and to improve our odds of combining these two together to hit, um, to hit both, uh, we can do a quick little min-max and, ca and craft on something on the bench that is the same between them. Um, so I'm going to craft on mana on both of these. It can be anything, it doesn't matter as long as it's the same and the same tier. Um, so now we have this, we're ready to recombinate. So I'm going to uh, export this and then I'm going to uh, recombinate here. So I'm gonna paste, and if we get lucky, we should see uh, increased attributes and increased strength, and we did. Um, so we hit both, and if you get unlucky here and you lose both, you just have to start over. Um, and if you uh, keep one, so maybe if your item looks like this, um, well then you at least have one um, still that you get to keep and you just have to reroll the other one. So now we're ready to move on to our second sub item. And this is the item that has our flat strength and our um, influence modifier. Um, and so you could do this just by spamming your essence until you hit uh, one of your two modifiers. This is a one in 78. 
but what could happen is you could hit a third suffix that you'll have to annul, and it can just be unpleasant and unlucky. Um, so instead, what we're gonna do is follow the same process we did before and combine one item that has isolated strength and another item that has an isolated influence modifier. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll just spam our rage essences, and we're not looking for anything specific. We just want to um, get an get an item that has just our isolated strength roll. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, this one only took us a few tries. I think this is like a one in 20, um, but just like before, uh, we'll go ahead and put on a bench craft and we'll do mana. And then we'll combine it just like we did before with an item that has one of our influence mi modifiers and a craft. Um, actually, this is T1, this is T2, so I'll just make sure that these are the same. Um, and so now we can go ahead and export this guy and recombinate it with our strength roll. Um, and we should see um, both our strength roll and our increase roll. Um, and there we go, we got our two um, isolated rolls. So now we are ready to do our final recombination. We've got our two items. One of them has um, both of our increases and then um, our other item that has one of the increases and our flat strength roll. And if at this point um, you have uh, a uh, some random crafted modifier left over from the previous step, um, you can just go ahead and remove that at the bench because we just want our two modifiers on each item. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do our recombination um, here. And this is a one in three, so it might take a few tries. Um, and there we hit it on the second one. Um, and at this point, your item uh, has complete suffixes and we're ready to move on and finish up the item. Um, and at this point, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, you can either uh, lock suffixes and do some harvest reforges to get something nice and then potentially do an Isling Veil. Um, but for me, I think the best thing to do um, would be to craft on suffixes can't be changed. Um, and then we're just gonna hit it with a Veiled Chaos Orb, um, and we ju have just our Veiled Prefix. Um, and then I'm gonna craft on Flat Mana, T1 for extra good luck. Um, that doesn't matter, by the way. Um, and then we're gonna Unveil. And now at this point, depending on what your build needs, um, you can take a look at the uh, calculation tab on Craft of Exile and just see all the mods available on your item. and. Um, uh, for me, I'm just going to take the uh, um, the increased melee damage, and then I'm just going to craft on life, and there we go. Our item is complete. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about the crafting process or about my build, I'd be happy to answer them or make another video. Um, feel free to follow me on Twitch at Filamanjaro. Um, I'm starting to stream a little bit more regularly. Um, and uh, feel free to stick around. I have a couple clips of me doing this live on, uh, on stream. And feel free to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Start recording. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, first attempt at a, a nice recombinate. We got a jewelry recombinator. We got uh, essence tier strength. We got increased strength here. We go over to the crafting bench. We craft anything. Doesn't matter. Let's do mana because that's how you do things around these parts. Wait, no, no, no we can't do that because it's a prefix. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Or a sub. Wait, hold on. Faded, faded. Dude, I don't want this. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, int because we're smart. We're big brainers. All right, so what you do, I explained this, right? Uh, you can't get the crafted <laughs> mod on there again, so it increases, like, here, yeah. just go ahead. It, so, okay, so it increases, like, these two int mods count, like, each individually towards the total that you can have. So it, it ups it from from one to two uh, mods if I just had strength and strength to uh, zero to four mods. So there's like a, I don't know what the math works out to being, but ideally you hit all three it's and then you can just on a, on a ring? I what? don't even know that. You can no, get max amulet. Dude, it's the one that has like freaking all the, all the things. Gotcha. It's got all the influences. So bing bang.
I hate it because you have to wait through all the prefixes. Right. Come on. Yes? No! It's gone. No, That's okay. No. That's okay. I can just buy another one and do more essence spam because this was the hard one. Alright. Final comp comp. Final step recombinator. We got increased strength, strength. We got increased strength, increased attributes. Let's go. Strength, increased attributes, increased strength. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this item is goaded, dude. Oh my god. does my strength go up by oh my god oh it goes up by a, over 120 sheesh